In tonight's Capital Connection, Republicans reject a bill allowing recreational marijuana sales to move forward later this year. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is live in the Digital Center to explain what this means for Virginians. Jackie, good evening. Hey, Eric. Well, it means that those 21 and older can still legally possess recreational marijuana in small amounts and grow up to four plants at home. But the vote also means that legal sales are delayed indefinitely. In less than 10 minutes, a Republican led panel voting to revisit recreational marijuana sales next year, an earlier than expected blow to a 400 plus page bill. I think this is a bigger issue than we can correct in two weeks time. The legislation would have allowed certain medical and hemp processors to start retail sales on September 15th before expanding to other businesses in 2024. The longer we go ahead and wait, the larger that black market grows. Democrats previously led the push to legalize limited marijuana possession before sales. But bill sponsor Senator Adam Eben blaming Republicans for refusing to act after multiple studies on the issue. They couldn't be bothered to read the bill. They couldn't be bothered to constructively contribute. They couldn't be bothered to offer their own alternatives. Republican delegate Jeff Campbell says frankly, these decisions should not be rushed, citing debate on the tax rate. We think the rate is far too high. It's proven to be too high in California, and that has allowed the black market to proliferate there. Legalization opponents celebrating the vote as a victory for public health, but even some supporters happy to see this version shot down, arguing big business shouldn't get a head start on sales. Because we're supposed to really be censoring those that were impacted by the war on drugs and can continue to be impacted by these proposals as we move forward. Now, also today, bills related to the expungement and resentencing of past marijuana convictions are still alive after another House committee hearing just this afternoon, giving criminal justice reform advocates some hope of further action this session. Live in the Digital Center, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.